Thank you for allowing me to participate in the debate concerning the Ministry of Civil Aviation. The Uday Deshka Aam Nagarik, Udan, scheme was launched with much fanfare, including the slogan, From Hawaii Chapel to Hawaii Jahaz, about five years back. Today, on, only one out of four routes under the said scheme have survived after completing the government's subsidy period of three years and uh, that only 22 routes are in operation out of the 94 routes under the scheme completed three-year tenure. But there are many reasons why this scheme could not be picked up and the government needs to address them. If the government really wishes that Hawaii Chapel Wala be able to travel by flight, Sir, the government has been ta talking to make even Hawaii Chapel Wala to board on flight. But today the airfares are such that the Hawaii Chapel Wala cannot even think of touching an aircraft. The air airfares have been shot up by one-fourth of the prices prevail. The government has been talking about reducing the price on aviation turbine fuel. But nothing has happened so far, and instead the price of ATF has only further increased, resulting in increased airfare. Sir, the government aims to make a further 200 airports functioning by the year 2030 in many ways. It, it, has, also, it has also been reported that many airports will be established under Gedi Shakti scheme. In this connection, I eagerly request the Honorable Minister to look into the issue of establish, establishing an uh, airport at Palaka. I have already made a representation to this effect uh, before him. Sir, Palaka, which is my parliamentary constituency, is a centrally placed district in the state of Kerala and adjoining to the state of Tamil Nadu. Palaka is the second largest industrial district in Kerala having all types of industries, including both central and state government public sector undertaking. The only IIT in the state of Kerala is at Palakkad. Palakkad is also the divisional headquarter of Southern Railway. The work on the industrial corridor between Coimbatore and Kochi via Palakkad is in progress. Palakkad is the gateway for reaching all materials to the state of Kerala from many parts of the country. Moreover, many thousands of people from this district and its neighboring district are settled in many parts of the globe, earning precious foreign exchange for the country. The proposed Coimbatore Kochi industrial corridor is expecting huge foreign investment. Hence, it is necessary and essential to have an airport at Palakkad to make travel to from Palakkad is here. Therefore, it is requested that Palakkad may also be included in the airport expansion plan of the government. Sir, another important thing which is, uh, I would like to mention over here is about the shortage of air traffic controllers. The sanctioned strength of air traffic controllers in the country is 3,901. Uh, against uh, which uh, only 3,162 uh, 3, personnel are employed, a shortage of 19%. This, uh, uh, this gap is gap, uh, only getting wider day by day. Thus, air traffic controllers are working without mandatory break even in busiest airport. Sir, uh, in uh, some airport they are made to work without a day off. Uh, I conclude, sir. The demand for air traffic controllers is n uh, increasing with the addition of new airports and uh, introduction of new airlines. Therefore, the government needs to fill, fill up the vacancies of air traffic controllers urgently as they are uh, the uh, one who control the air traffic and uh, any negligence of uh, it will invite okay. a tragedy. Sir, thank you. Okay, Honorable Member Sri Gobal Shetty. Honorable Member Sri Gobal Shetty.